up guys while my airbags are pumping up or pumping up the tank in the airbags. I'll introduce today's video. Welcome to the video guys. It's Lifestyle. My name is Deontay. Oh, it's already done. Let's go. Yeah, I returned to work guys. Quarantine is almost over. I think we got like three more weeks. Back to work officially this time though. Back to full time. And hopefully that doesn't mean slow down on the videos because I already had a pretty big slowdown with the car down. We're headed to the buddy, Randy. I think I got it right. Randy, who installed my clutch. The clutch feels very good. I was gonna make a video on it. Everything is super smooth, but I'm hearing a clicking noise and I think it's my axle. So we're just gonna go take it to the shop, have him test drive it and let him dial in what it is. And then eventually, hopefully next week actually, we're gonna bring it back to him so he can do the slave cylinder and all that stuff. If you guys saw the last video, you would know what I'm talking about. Make sure you guys drop a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys at Randy's. So I went to get on the freeway, my check engine light turned on, and there was a little bit bigger of a click this time, so I'm getting kind of scared now, and I'm hoping it's not serious. We here at Autobahn. Just took the car out for a test drive, and we concluded that it's the ball joints. So we went on the test drive, it wasn't knocking very much, but, you know, it always happens that way. What's up? <laughs> he said ball joints. That's right. Yeah. Let's get into that. Car's all clean. Come around the front, looking super good. Super good like always, you already know. And then we come on this side, and no, they're foggy. I'm taking these ones apart so I can re-clean them, reseal them, and have to go through all that trouble again, so that's good. It's the next day, guys, from taking the car into the shop. We're taking the TL out, as you guys can see, for a quick drive. We got 500 miles to break in the car. I'm actually already 250 in because I took it out last night for a drive and I took it out um, to work and everything like that. So we're actually 210 in to the break-in. For those of the people who don't know that you have to break in your clutch when you get a new clutch, uh, it takes 500 miles. You pretty much just baby the car. No slamming on it, especially from first, second, and third. No over-aggressive accelerating and no big-time downshifts. That's what's hard on the clutch and pretty much you just baby the car for the first 500 miles. The car drives amazing right now. I'm super happy with it. You don't feel no jerking when I shift, nothing. 264 miles and we're going over a really pretty bridge. Just got home when we're at 293. I hate putting miles on this car. Not gonna lie though, this backdrop looking fire. <laughs> it's just a glow show. Halo's looking mighty fine. I think it's time to get this video started. Here's what you guys have been waiting for. I've showed you guys a couple sneak peeks, first on YouTube and also on Instagram. Got you guys pretty hyped up on Instagram. Put up a poll, and actually, half of you guys dislike this, half of you guys like this. So, I'm pretty hyped to open this up. These are my new NSX style tail lights for the third gen TL. This video, guys, is sponsored by Unique Style Racing. They're the ones who created this specific tail light that I'm about to open up for you guys. I already feel like it's gonna be something that's gonna be like half and half, but I really like it, and I think it's gonna look really good on my car. So. Just me and the tail lights. Trying to get them close to the camera. Where are they at? Oh, I've got one. Comes with reflectors, little red ones. I don't know what that's for yet. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Oh, they're already smoked. That's dope. Wow. Look at that. It's a little bit dirty right now, just from the plastic on there. But it's already smoked. A lot of people said too much red, but now it's like not even like, it's not overpowering anything because it's smoked already. A lot of people on the poll actually responded 
and said first thing I would do is tint them. But they're already tinted and I wouldn't go any darker because I do not like dark tint in the back. I'm gonna pull out this one guys. You guys just enjoy cinematics. Definitely need close-ups before we go outside of the car and put them side by side with my tail lights that I already have that I've customized. So close up, what do you guys think? I actually like it a lot. Not only do I have a new tail light, but I think I'm just more hyped on the idea of a new product for our cars. Cause you guys know we're pretty limited on our choices. Unique style racing. Make sure you guys go check them out. I have my promo code right here. Guys get 10% off. These things start off retail at 309 plus shipping which is wherever you stay. I don't know how much shipping would be. And then um, you get my 10% off. So at the end of the day, you're gonna spend about 290 on some new tail lights, which isn't bad. Get a close up of the back right here. It's the exact same thing, has the same uh, mount as the OEM ones, just not the bracket on it. And then, um, yeah. And then you got the resistor. These are going to my car in the next couple days. Stay tuned for that video. Make sure you guys have the post notifications on. So here is my tail light that sits on the car right now. I have a carbon fiber dip inside and also this black strip right here has been vinyl wrapped. And then also this turn signal is LED. And other than that, that's all I've done to the car. What do you guys think? This red just looks really light right now compared to the car. It's actually a huge difference. NSX style or OEM style? Let me hear the votes down in the comments. Honestly, looking at my car right now and noticing that this tail light is actually really, really red. These took me a very long time. These were my first set of tail lights to ever cut open and modify, and they turned out pretty good. Everything still looks really clean. So if you guys want to be the first ones or one of the first to have this tail light, make sure you guys check out Unique Style Racing. I'll have links down below. Use my coupon code, save 10% and get these for about 290. And if I didn't say earlier, huge shout out to Unique Style Racing for reaching out and hooking me up with these tail lights. I'm really excited to get them on the car. Make sure you guys stay tuned for when I install them to the TL. Literally going to give the whole rear end a new look, hopefully a better look. So stay tuned for that video. Guys, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.